All right, so we're back to the only game where you can build a pool that's so big that it will make you want to die. It's The Sims 4. I say make you want to die and not them want to die because after I attempt this, I may want to shoot myself. I haven't done anything in a while that made me want to feel like a masochistic bastard because of how stupid it is, and thus my inner Florida man was coming to the surface. So today, here's the plan. Remember how we made a thousand mile long hallway? We're gonna make over a thousand mile long pool. I will have areas where our lovely man family can have refreshments and maybe sleep on the ground like a vagrant. And we will see who can traverse all eight floors of pool until they get to the prize. I say prize, it'll probably just be like a toilet with a note that says like LOL or something. I'll make it worth their while though. It'll be one of the good toilets. Any gray still plays death build always begins with what I like to call the box of depression. Effectively, anytime a Sim sees a giant white box that blots out the sun, they're typically like, oh, Meanwhile, Spleens is down here. She's like, yeah, I can do this with one eye behind my back. Oh, I actually didn't know where Tonsils was. I thought he had like fused on the into the wall of the house or something like that. But no, he's fine. Well, fine. He still has brain damage, but he's alive. Oh yeah, this pool's going all the way to the bottom. There we go. Usually it takes me about two to three hours to start to question what the hell I was thinking when I decided to do this, but I'm already finding my keyboard starting to look pretty appetizing. So the great thing about pools is, is that they make their own walls basically when you put them in. So Sims can't go around them if you stack them on top of one another. Honestly, the only thing that scares me is typically when I do something this crazy, if the game crashes, it does not save this kind of progress. I still have PTSD when I made the 2000 room house. We gotta put a space in here because the next floor is going to be right there when it comes to the pool. The little outside area so I can get all the Sims down here with stairs that I will then promptly destroy so they can't leave. Okay, no joke. Part of my soul already wants to die. I might actually have to put tiles in here every once in a while so they can go to sleep because I don't think a human being can get through this one single level of pool without dying. I need to see who has the gumption to make it through all eight. Although technically I think it's seven since you can't have one on the very bottom floor. Oh yeah, that's hot. I know outside right now, the Sims are having a conversation. They're like, what the hell is Gray doing in there? And LSD is like preparing to shorten our lifespans. I don't really know how this works, but I appreciate that the game has my staircase just glitching right through the wall of my pool. What I'm doing right now is a principle that you can apply to almost anything in life. Like, let's say you need to do a big report and it's gotta be like 20 pages long. If you do part of it, uh, you can tell yourself that you only have to do what you just did say 10 more times. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm like, oh yeah, great, don't worry. You just have to do what you just did three more times. Not like that last floor. I mean, everything I've done so far. Actually, I just thought about something in an extremely meta moment while I am torturing my Sims to traverse this hellhole. Uh, they're technically torturing me because I'm the one building it. Honestly, I don't even know if the game can handle this much, this much pool. I really have no idea. Oh my God. This entire place is just a freaking nightmare. <laughs> On the plus side, I'm actually on the ground floor now. Babaross is over here. She's like, oh, a staircase just appeared. I wonder what could be going on beneath the surface. Imagine if you will, Bab, a lovely lazy river like you would find in a water park and then make it so that the water park is owned by Satan. It's always a good sign when it takes 10 minutes to save the game. Thought I'd let some natural light in. Now the Sims can see the horror as it unfolds. Remember how I said that, you know, good things are happening when it takes 10 minutes to save? Good things are happening also when it takes 10 minutes to load back into the game after it crashes on you. Maybe the windows were too much. I think I'll just leave them the way they are for right now. How about this, you sim bastards? I'll make you a deal. If I can do this without crashing the game again, I'll even put like a nice tile on the accents of the pool. I'm not a monster. Just putting pieces of the pool down now takes like 30 seconds. I can't cut and paste anything because it destroys the entire game. I found the pool crafting agony is a little bit less uh, if you zoom all the way out. This is a, actually a great scale opportunity because just when you think like maybe it's not that far of a distance to swim, remember this is just one level and that, that little dot right there, Right there, that's a person. <laughs> How lucky is Bab Ross that she happened to be on one of the tiles that didn't turn into a pool? Okay, made it up to the second above ground floor so far. Well, I've got good news and I've got bad news. 
The good news is, is that uh, I totally forgot that you could put a pool on the top deck as long as it didn't go over anything beneath it. So Satan's Spa is actually going to be nine levels. The bad news is, if I try and zoom in or out, I get two FPS. I don't want any of the Sims, you know, possibly like jumping the wall here. I want them to have to go around the entirety of the top pool. So I'm using tables and toddler toilets. I think the best thing about the toddler toilets is the Sims can only look at them longingly. They can't actually use them. All right, there we go. There's probably an easier way to do this, but honestly, I love the dollar store methamphetamine flea market look. Now to those who actually managed to make it up here to the top level, I put everything a growing sim needs, including the refrigerator, a toilet, a bath, and like an army bunk. I guess on each floor, I'm gonna put like some food or something so that the sims can like get something to eat and maybe sleep because if they don't, there's no way in hell they're going to be able to make it through the entire swim on even a single floor. I need to rename this. Welcome, please let me die spa. Actually, it needs like a French touch there. Lay, please let me die spa. Well, well, well. <laughs> Looks like I bugged out the whole game. <laughs> This is a very delicate process right now. I just had the game ruthlessly crash on me twice. <laughs> okay, every floor is gonna have a refrigerator and a bed, but it's gonna be a single bed. So these bastards need to pick one person to sleep on it. All right, well, saving the game isn't a thing I'm allowed to do anymore, so I guess we're just gonna hope this works. All right, well, uh, renaming the house just crashed the game again. So you know what? We're just gonna leave it like it is. There are so many items in this goddamn house that the game is sitting there like, go ahead, Gray, press the enter button. I dare you. Well, this is an exciting update. So uh, besides having now committed possibly every felony I could do against this game, uh, I have gotten it to work. Florida man is having an excellent time with his head up of methamphetamine's ass. And we are now at the bottom floor of Satan Spa. I had to start a completely new save because I broke the last one and then re-import the lot. I have destroyed this game so badly that asking the Sims to do anything takes about three minutes for them to figure out what the hell I'm talking about. So we do have our bed and our refrigerator on each floor as they try and traverse all the way up to the top. But first I have to figure out if they can even make it here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Unpausing the game is very exciting. It takes about uh, three minutes for that to happen. Oh boy. Okay, so the demonic breaststroke has finally started. It is 11.45 a.m. It's taken about two hours for the commands to actually go into the game. Bab Ross is in the lead here only because her avatar has been the only person to figure out what the hell it's supposed to do. Florida man legitimately gave up the will to live and started going the other way. So now Bab Ross is the only one doing what they're supposed to do. Oh, Australian man, the juggernaut he is, is following right behind. Okay, Bab glitched out for a while. That allowed Australian man to start coming up the rear. They've been swimming now for what, two full hours, two and a half hours, and we're only in the second layer on the bottom most floor. They have to go through all these just to get to this portion. Okay, it took everyone a while, but everyone has figured out what the hell they're supposed to do now. This is amazing. We actually have a real race on our hands, although these two have kind of glitched out. I like that tonsils and spleens are still upstairs, like doing their thing while the Sims are slowly wanting to die downstairs in the basement. Ah, Beth Amphetamine, I see you're swimming playfully. Yes, we will destroy those emotions by the time you reach the third floor. I think Bab Ross is still in last place, but don't worry, Bab, we love you. Even if your parents didn't. This is interesting. Australian man is just flat out faster than Florida man. This dude is like part fish or something. Australian man is three fourths shrimp and one fourth badass. How the hell are you so slow, Florida man? You live right next to the water. This is the problem with people in Florida, realistically, even though we live right next to all the beaches, we spend all of our time drinking Bud Light. Okay, all of Bab Ross's cocaine is starting to wear off. Florida man is really starting to catch up now. Beth Amphetamine, showing the power of meth as she catches up to both of them. I have to make it so that everyone urinates in the pool, otherwise they won't swim anymore once they have to go to the bathroom. Florida man's probably like, is this pool salt water? It's very salty. 
And the first one to reach it is Australian man. It's taken him 10 hours of non-stop swimming. Australian man is like an Olympic swimmer. He has swam so fast that the next bunch of people are between four and eight rows behind him. As such, Australian man now gets to have something to eat. This is amazing. It took him like 30 minutes to figure out how to get the sandwich out of the refrigerator. Okay, this is perfect. I don't actually have to babysit these creatures anymore. The closer they get to this platform, the more they want to, you know, actually eat and stay alive. It's dark as hell down here. Jimmy Weenus doesn't mind because it reminds him of the pit of solitude that is his life as he very sadly eats his cereal. But I'm gonna fast forward ahead and get these guys at least up to the levels where there's like sun and stuff. Okay, two of my contestants have just spontaneously died. They didn't get death animations. They didn't get death notifications. They just disintegrated completely out of the game. Bab Ross and Tommy Weenus figured out a way to spite me by literally ceasing it to exist. It is Saturday, the next week right now, and we're on, this is just the second level inside of the house above the basement. It's taken them six days of nonstop swimming just to get to this point. I don't even know how this has happened right here. Bethamphetamine is swimming inside of the concrete. I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. That's what has happened to this game so far. Okay, Florida Man is digging deep. A lot of people do the breaststroke, but Florida Man is like, just really excited to finally get some Bud Light out of the fridge. Somehow, Florida Man has legitimately defeated Australian Man in speed. I think the problem is when they're interested in, you know, the necessities like eating and drinking and sleeping, they kind of do things out of order because the game has completely decided to embrace the devil at this point. Uh, okay. This is exciting. So, if you can see LSD over there, she reached into the refrigerator that's like 300 feet away, pulled out a plate, and now she is levitating on top of the water to eat it. I... I... Sure. Holy shit, I've destroyed this game. I don't think I've ever broken it this bad, but I don't care what it takes. One way or the other, these bastards are going to make it to the top floor. I just realized Florida Man is swimming at like seven miles an hour. Like this is beyond Olympic swimming. Kill me. So, uh, it's Thursday in the fall. They have been swimming for 11 days straight. <laughs> and somehow Australian Man is happy. Australian Man is like, great, I was made for this torture. He is in first place. Uh, Beth Amphetamine decided to evaporate spontaneously, so she's gone. I don't know where she went, but we're finally on the top layer of the house. This is the final portion, the last little bit here. You can see Florida Man is now passing up LSD. This is incredible. Well, I say passing, he's basically beating her to death with his giant flub-like hands. Florida Man just gave it up. He straight up did. He has to use the bathroom, but he won't pee in the pool. So instead he's gonna go over here and use this. So he's giving up valuable time. God damn it, Florida man. Everyone's gonna laugh at you. He's like, joke's on you, Gray. Everyone already laughs at me. So Florida man uh, came all the way back to this bush, but uh, it sucks because he just stepped in someone else's sh That's right, push. Push you beautiful bastard. You've only got like, three more revolutions to go. They're the biggest ones, but you'll be all right if you don't starve to death first. Night is coming. I can't believe we've gotten this far, to be quite honest with you. Florida man's probably going to die soon because he needs to make food, but he can't because he went back to the tree to take a crap. And when that happened, he basically damned himself. I'm actually kind of curious. Sp oh, sweet baby Jesus. I think that spleen says glitched out. I haven't fed her in like a week and a half, look at her eyes, <laughs> jumbling all over the place. This is awful. Uh, she may be catatonic, I'm not really sure. She may have had a stroke. 
She she appears to be breathing. Tonsils is just not even moving. Unbelievable. Australian man. <laughs> he could have just walked forward. He had to get that last little victory lap in. At nine o'clock at night on Thursday, Australian man has made it to the end. And finally he gets to sleep. Australian man has done it. And the game has actually ruthlessly broken again. Time has frozen, even though we're in the fast forward movement. And he just stares longingly at everyone behind him who has died. Internally proud. And yet completely emotionless. <laughs> hey folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of The Sims. I'm gonna go uninstall now. Till next time, stay foxy and much love.